All right, today we're gonna talk do's and don'ts about social media. Now, before you turn this off, we're gonna focus heavily on what you can do on social media to help you be more successful and to protect new skin as a company. First, always be clear in your relationship with the company. You should be upfront and obvious with your partnership with new skin. You can do this by adding hashtag ad, hashtag affiliate to any of your posts that have the intent to sell products. You can put entrepreneur, business owner, or affiliate in your profile description as well. Be authentic as you're building your personal brand. You're already awesome, so there's no need to exaggerate. Remember, lifestyle is who you are, not what you have. Now, Let's talk details on posts. First, product posts. Don't show prices publicly and make sure you're using approved claims from the pips. You can find bullet points, you can find lots of different things to say about this. Tell your personal story about the products and that will definitely help you have a more authentic and great product post. Use pictures of yourself using the products. All right, let's talk before and afters. Sometimes it's best to only use an after photo. Make sure you're using the same background, wearing the same clothing. Don't say the exact amount of weight lost or the exact timeline in your post because we can't guarantee that someone else is gonna have the same results and you don't need a huge disclaimer explaining that your results weren't the, ex the typical results. Make sure that you're using the same lighting, the same camera setting. Um, be in a room like a bathroom if you're doing face pictures where you can control the lighting. Sometimes natural light itself can make a big difference. Also, there are company approved before and afters that you can use. And remember, the only thing that should change in a before and after is the result of the products that you have. All right, success trips qualification and while you're on the trip. You shouldn't say that it's an all expense paid trip. You shouldn't say that it's a free trip. You have earned this trip. Your team has earned this trip. So as you're in qualification for this, you can talk to your team. What does qualification take? Is it a six month process? Is it, you know, it's not selling one product. So talk about how they have worked to earn this trip during the qualification period. When you're on the trip, have fun, show that you're having fun, show the team building and the community that you're a part of. Such a big part of our company is the tribe and the community that we're a part of. Show that when you're on your trip as well as the destination. Okay, let's talk about recognition. You have someone on your team who just hit a new title. Maybe you just hit a new title. First of all, congratulations. Congratulations to you, congratulations to them. Now, how can you congratulate them on social? The best thing to do is not to ever say how much money they've earned. You can't say that. Don't say just, oh look, she's a new blue diamond or a new ruby. That doesn't make sense to anybody. Talk about how hard they're working, how they're moving up, how they're making, they're unlocking the potential of our compensation plan. Talk about how they're balancing life. They're balancing two jobs. They're balancing motherhood and doing this on the side. Whatever it is that they're balancing, that's huge recognition for people. And that is a safer way for you to talk about it and a better way for them to share on their own profiles. All right, now recruiting online. You shouldn't mention specific things that people can do. Don't ever say you can quit your full-time job. You can pay your rent. You can fund your family vacations or pay off all of your debt. These are things that you can't guarantee somebody in our system. So don't say that as you're trying to recruit. Don't say financial freedom or reference um, completely changing a career or something, but talk about side hustles. Talk about um, hard work paying off. Talk about working around your own schedule and family potentially. You can't say that it's easy to make money. It's not easy to make money. This is a really hard business, but at the same time, it's a very rewarding business. And trying to get people to join your community and join your tribe and sign up to be part of New Skin. Referrals versus giveaways. In a referral, if you do this for me, I will give you this. If you post for me, I will give you a product. That's okay. Now giveaways are a no-go. Most states, this becomes lottery rules. There's all sorts of stuff with it. When you're like, you can win just by liking this post. No, we don't do giveaways. We've done a full training on kind of other things you can do to create new followers. You can go watch that one after this. But remember, you can do a one-for-one -one referral, not a giveaway. All right, current issues and trends. 
don't capitalize on fears. Things like the pandemic, don't say COVID, don't talk about just flu season, working from home, and these things that might cause fear in people. Focus on positive things. Hopefully this inspires you to go post and keep building your business and social. We love having you be part of the New Skin family. Remember, we're always here to answer your questions. If you need help keeping a post compliant, just ask.